aim this at the moon. So I have a question. So when I was looking at the sky like a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I was actually the in Richmond, in which was like spot. super weird, so I was like smack dab in the middle of the city, yeah. and like I saw this like thing go across the sky, but like it wasn't like an airplane, but it was like fast and bright, and then like it fizzled out. You see how it kind of makes a circle when you rotate it? Really? It was so cool, because I remember I was downtown city. Yeah, it was like super bright. And then it like was like fading to like nothing, but it like had a yeah, little bit of a line behind it. That's right. I know what that is. It's, well, a, see, it's, a, it's, is it's a little space because box. this is one and a quarter. Yeah, maybe the size of a piece of gravel or something, or it could be the size of a baseball or something. Or something. Or something. But it it, uh, it burns up in the atmosphere. Wait, it was in our atmosphere. Yeah. What you're saying is it's burning up in our atmosphere. It's going so fast. There's so much, so much friction going through the atmosphere. It's kind of burning up. So what's going to happen? What are we going to Well, the, the Earth, you know, casts a, uh, a, a, big, a, 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 a shadow of space. Look at the moon. I'm looking at the moon. Here's your clip. That's going to happen? Yeah, Hold it. it's going to be the Earth, and it's going to be the light portion of the sun. So the sun is going to go black. Almost. Red. Yeah, it must have turned like the light kind of from around. It, it's it's the light from all the sunsets in the world. Yeah, with the Earth's atmosphere, it's not a crisp shadow. So it's, uh, it won't be totally black, but it'll be very dim. Like right now, it almost hurts your eyes to look up there. Yeah, it, definitely. But uh, when, once it's all kind of reddish, it will be very dim. I don't like to get the picture Now, the weird thing about a scope right now, since we're having a full moon, the sun is completely opposite of the moon, so the back of your scope is pointing towards the sun. Yeah, that's, that's, I never thought about that. That's yeah, really so when cool. you're looking at the moon, full moon, you know, they're 180 degrees apart. They're in a straight line. Yeah, exactly. So your scope, that way, that's how far down the sun is below the horizon. At that angle. It was weird last night, right at sunset, this fog started to lift off the ground. Mm -hmm. And by 10 o'clock at night, it was really thick fog, like horror movie fog. <laughs> so, I didn't go anywhere last night. But the North Star, which behind the cloud right now, it's going to stay in one spot. Everything, like you said, everything goes around it. But the other way to find it is the North Star is always at, a, at the same angle above the ground as your latitude. So for oh. us, the North Star is at 37 degrees off the ground. What's your favorite constellation? Uh, well, most people probably like Orion just because there's a lot of fun things to look at. You know, I like Cassiopeia because yeah, it, uh, it's, like, it's like the W. <coughs> uh -huh. It uh, has a couple. Of, you can I use that as a way to find the Andromeda galaxy, and that's something you can see with binoculars. So, oh, you can okay. even see the naked eye if it's like no moon and it's a really dark, uh, really dark night. Oh, yeah, I've never seen any galaxy. I want to see the Milky Way. You can actually see the Milky Way from here, but with the full moon, it's uh, washed out. If you all look over in this direction, you see right at the top of those clouds, there's a bright star. Yeah. That's the star Vega. It's in the northeast. So what happens with Vega, it's slowly going to get higher and higher as the night goes on. Hmm. And about, uh, say, maybe four or five in the morning, it'll be straight overhead. So keep an eye on it, and watch it get higher and higher, So, and the moon is going to get higher and higher too, so that's evidence of the Earth's rotation. But if you look at Vega, and then look over here at this bright star here, that's Arcturus. They're almost the same brightness, but if you look at the, look at the both of them, go back and forth, you notice there's something very different about them. If you look at the two, you should see something very, very different about them. That one kind of seems like more red. Yes. Arcturus is sort of a yellow-orange color, and Vega is, is like a bluish-white color. They're very different colors. Oh my gosh, so you can see the different colors of the stars from here? Yeah. That's When cool. they're bright enough. I always thought that if I saw a reddish star, it was probably Mars or something. Uh, that could be. <laughs> 
you know, stars are have different colors uh, depending on kind of where they are in their life cycle mm -hmm. and how big they are. One of the stars in uh, Orion of uh, Betelgeuse, <laughs> and it's right at the end of its life cycle. And there's a probability is pretty low, but there is a chance it could go, uh, it, could, it could flare up, huh. you know, in our lifetime. But odds are it's going to be like 10,000 years from now.